I mean, it's very strange. About 14 billion years ago, there was, as far as physics can tell, more or less absolutely nothing. Just simply nothing. And then in one of the most enormously creative events in the history of the universe, we had the Big Bang, or flaring forth. And the fundamental aspects of the physical universe, as we know it, blew into existence. And this was an extraordinary event, because out of nothing, all of a sudden, we have something. We have this world of material particles. But this doesn't mean that creativity is over. This is really just the start, just the beginning of what will be coming afterwards with even further creative acts. So it starts with something like strings, and these come together into quarks, and then quarks gather together and form electrons and protons and neutrons, and these come together to form atoms, and atoms come together to form molecules. And we sort of blithely say quarks to atoms to molecules, but each one of those steps is a staggeringly creative event. The movement from quarks to atoms is a creative emergence, and the move from atoms to molecules is a creative emergence, and it just doesn't seem to stop. So far from the major forces of the universe being randomness and chance selection, one of the fundamental forces of the universe is, for lack of a better term, artistic creativity, absolute creativity. And as a force which is unrelenting, it just never lets go.